So for my first vlog, I want to talk about the first two Emerald experiences I had since I chose the Emerald option. Um, the first one that I went to, we it was largely based off of a game we played, which they had told me is a little bit different. And the topic of that was the housing disparities like found within America. And the second time I went to Emerald, we talked about um, global warming and the effects it has globally, and we also played a game that time. So I'm going to walk you through a little bit both games and then, you know, my takeaways from that. So in the first one we played, everyone was split up by their favorite ice cream flavor. And then when we were all in the groups with our ice cream flavors, we were told to go to different sections of the room um, spread out like this. So you can see the first section, the second, and the third. So the most people were in this section, and then there was a decent amount in this one, and then the least amount in here. And you can see I labeled it lower, middle, and upper, because part of the game was to try and, you know, fund different things for your community, like build schools and hospitals and stuff, and based off of where you were, you were treated much differently. And so when we got down to talking about it, we talked a lot about how, um, you know, the upper class is given a lot of different opportunities to upgrade their um, things. And this reminded me a lot of TE 150 and 250 because, you know, the schools with less funding don't have those opportunities to advance their schools or um, anything like that. So you can see how they could be limited in trying to help their students and stuff like that. And so in the second, um, we had a game in which we were split up once again by our um, just numbered off this time and so when we were split off everyone was getting given different dice so some dice had more sides than others and then based off of if you rolled a certain number you um, were able to disadvantage another group which was supposed to represent a country and um, eventually only one country existed because they were had the most sides to the dice and when they kept rolling a number they could take a part of the land away and that was supposed to represent the effects of global warming and how that also shows the effects of global warming is because um, when the upper class or when the big countries take raw materials from smaller countries they're not able to be viable anymore and you know their own economies go under and stuff like that so that's really you know damaging to them when I went to both of these I was most concerned with how people were going to treat each other because you know um, global warming is a very sensitive topic and so is housing disparities like some of us might be in from that lower um, class and um, during the first game, um, the ice cream one, um, some students got really, really upset because they were in the lower class and I found that, you know, frustrating in itself. And in both games, I was in the one, like, the country that got eliminated because of the effects of global warming and I was in the lower class and so I could see, um, more easily the negative effects that this has on people because, you know, um, if people tried to step out of their class, they were shut down, and that reminded me of in T250 when we talked about how um, people's social classes aren't, it's not necessarily their fault if they're in the lower class because they don't have any opportunities to advance. Um, my insult, insight, not insult, to culture was when a student from Sweden told me or spoke in the whole group about how in Sweden they have to um, recycle or they get further taxes imposed upon them and I found that really interesting because you know in America we don't have that set up so there's less incentive for people to recycle and stuff like that and um, as a major powerhouse we also discussed how you know if the United States doesn't fund um, you know, to stop the negative effects of global warming, then, you know, smaller countries like Sweden, um, their effect won't be as large. And people think that global warming is super far away, but it's actually not. And same with housing disparities, because people think they might not be affected, but they are. All right, thank you. Bye.